All right, let's take a look at the fourth FRQ. This is on the calculus A, B, and B, C exam. Um, 2023, as usual, I do not have the solutions. They're not going to be released for a few months. So these will be my best guesses at the answers here. If I have any corrections, I will put it in the comment as a pinned comment in the video description. So uh, function f is defined on this closed interval, satisfies this value, graph of f prime, the derivative f consists of two line segments and a semicircle as shown. Does f have a relative min, relative max at neither at x equals six? So to have a relative min or max is first, we have to decide is f prime of x equal to zero or undefined, right? That's our first establishing. It has to be, one of those has to be true in order to have a relative max. Well, f prime of six, um, let's look at it. Does it equal zero? Um, it does equal, so f prime would be the y value of this right at six, it's equal to zero, so that works. Now we need to look at a sign chart. What we want to do is we want to take a sign chart of and look at right at six, we know it's zero. To the right of six, this is our first derivative test, to the, to the, just a little bit to the right, it's above the x-axis, it's positive. And to the left, it's above the x-axis, also positive which means it is neither, right? Because it doesn't change, the derivative doesn't go from positive to negative. Remember the derivative are the y values here, right? So f prime of x is the, you know, because the derivative of f are the y values. So it's neither a min or a max because the, you know, the f prime of six or x, you know, f prime of x is positive before and after six. Something like that, okay. On what open intervals, if any, is the graph f concave down? So concave down is going to be where the second derivative is negative. So that's where it's concave down, right? Now, in that context, that means the slopes, What? how does f double prime look on a graph of f prime? It is the slopes of f prime that are less than zero, right? And where does that occur? Where are the slopes negative? They're from here to here, so from uh, negative two to zero. Here it's positive slopes, here it's negative slopes from four to six. Okay, so those are the intervals, or you could use, you know, interval notation. You don't have to use interval notation. Um, yeah, and that would be sufficient. Find the value of the limit as x approaches two of this or show does not exist and justify your answer. So first thing we always do when we plug in a limit is we're gonna just compute this first. That's going to be, what is f of 2? Well, uh, f of 2, they tell us, is 1. So this is going to be 6 minus 6 on the top over 4. Notice I don't say that this is equal to this thing. This is not equal to this. This is just me computing and plugging in to see if I get a number. This would be 4 minus 10, negative 6 plus 6, which is 0. So you get 0 over 0. That's an indeterminate form, so we're going to use L'Hopital's rule. So then we're going to say the limit as x approaches 2. We're going to take the derivative of the top, which is going to be 6 times f prime of x derivative of minus 3x is minus 3, then the derivative of this is going to be 2x minus 5, and now we're going to plug in 2, so we're going to get 6 times f prime at 2 minus 3 over 2 times 2 minus 3, okay, so that's going to equal, what's f prime at 2, or f prime at 2 is the slope right at the, sorry, it's the y value here, right, the y value there, because this is a graph of f prime, so I want to look for the y value right there, that's 0 over 4 minus 3, which is 1, so this is going to be negative 3. Okay. Find the absolute minimum value of f on their closed interval. So for part D, we're going to do our candidates test, right? So you want to find any critical points. Where is f prime of x equal to 0? Well, that occurs anywhere that um, the y value is 0. So that's negative 1, 2, and 6. Now, I'm going to throw out 6 because it can't be a min or a max. You can technically reduce it if you wanted to kind of figure things out in terms of like reducing what you have to check. Because if I want an absolute min, they technically, I only need to look for local minimums. And this is positive to negative, so I don't technically need to check that one. This one is a local minimum, negative to positive slopes. If you want to be careful, like if you just want to be lazy, like I'm going to be lazy, and this is neither a min or a max. So I'm going to eliminate those two, and now we're going to do the candidates test on just simply um, the endpoints of the interval, which is negative 2, 8, and 2. And we want to compute these things. 
Now, in order to compute the values of these, we have to set up some kind of expression for f of x based on the f prime of x. So we have to construct the integral here. And you always want to think about that when you're integrating f prime of x dx, right? you get f of b minus f of a. And I always try to think about it like that's what I'm trying to do and when I'm plugging in numbers. Now, I know that f of 2 is 1. So that means like I should plug in like 1 over here for this make a equal to 1. Okay, and then for b, we'll just make it like f. So let's just say f of x is the integral from 1 to x, we'll say f prime of t dt. Okay, so and then you just add in f of 1 there. So I'm replacing the b with x, right? And then I'm playing that with there. So then this is the integral from 1 to x, f prime of t dt plus, t plus oh, I don't know why I say f of 1, it's f of 2 f of 2 is 1, so I should plug in 2 here, plus f of 2, which is 1 here, okay? So this is our expression for f of x, and now we want to compute all of these things. What is f of negative 2? What is f of 8? What is f of 2? So f, f of negative 2, just kind of like looking at our function here, right? It's the integral from 2 to negative 2 of f prime of t dt, plus one. Now, because the bounds are like from right to left, like positive to negative, I like to flip it around. So you can do the area correctly. Because I just remember it, if I go left to right, any area below the x axis is negative. So I want to do the area from negative two to two, which is going to be this area here, one half base times high, that area is one. This is this is a three, three by two. So that area is negative three. So from negative two to negative two, we're gonna have one minus three, that's negative two. So this is negative, negative two plus one, and that's going to be three. So hopefully I didn't do that too quickly. Uh, then we do f of eight, which would be the integral from two to eight of f prime of t dt plus one. So now we're gonna integrate from two all the way to eight. So this, this triangle right here, this guy's gonna have an area of, what is this area gonna be? It's gonna be a two by two, four, so it's two. And then when I wanna do this area from here to here is you gotta do the area, this one's a little trickier, you gotta do the area of this whole rectangle and then subtract the area of this circle, right? So the area in this region is I'm gonna do the rectangle area. So the rectangle area, that's a four, that's a two, that's eight minus the area of the circle. The area of the circle is half pi r squared because it's half a circle. What's the radius of the circle? It's two. So this is gonna be eight minus uh, two pi. Okay, so that area is eight minus two pi. So this is gonna be eight minus two pi plus one. That's gonna be nine minus two pi. Okay, two pi is about a little more, sorry, so pi is a little bit more about three, two times a little more than three is gonna be a little bit more than six, nine minus that, that's gonna be smaller than that one because I'm trying to find absolute min. And then last one is you're just gonna integrate from, uh, uh, sorry, we're gonna do f of, f of what are we saying? f of, uh, f of two, oh, f of two they already give us, f of two is one, right? No, they already gave this, they, they already told us f of two is one. Okay, so which one's the smallest? This guy here, this is, now what's the question? Find the absolute minimum value of F. They want the value, that's the Y value. So the answer would be one there.